Reliving a nightmare. Tonight, for the first time, we hear 10 year old Victor Barraona's stories of the abuse he and his twin sister suffered, allegedly at the hands of their adoptive parents. The gut wrenching revelations are the latest evidence surfacing from Miami court files tonight. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran is live with the details. Dan? Well, for most of us, a stretch of Interstate 95 is where the Barraona story begins. But for the Barraona children, trouble may have started long before, as we hear in chilling audio recordings released just hours ago. Paramedics pulled badly burned Victor Barraona from this pickup truck on the side of I-95 in West Palm Beach on Valentine's Day one year ago. He survived, where his twin sister Nubia did not. Her body found doused in chemicals in the back of that same truck. Weeks later, Victor began telling his story to his foster mother about life with his adoptive parents, Jorge and Carmen Barraona. He really didn't want to remember, perhaps, but he did. That's the voice of Katia Garcia during her audio taped interview with investigators. Victor was placed in Garcia's care after Carmen and Jorge Barraona were charged with murder for Nubia's death and also with the abuse of both children. Victor tells Garcia about endless physical abuse, allegedly at the hands of Jorge Barraona. His father hit him with a mop stick. There's another scar on his lip, and he said that his father punched him. Graphic recollections. A little boy confided in a foster mom. He saw some of my eyelashes, and then he said that his was shut with, like, crazy glue and lost all of his lashes when he opened his eyes. Victor told Garcia his adoptive father poured hot sauce in the boy's ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. That Barraona submerged Nubia's bound hands and feet in Clorox bleach and other household chemicals in the family's bathtub. Scars left behind, Victor told Garcia, from both Jorge and Carmen Barraona, including scars, the child said, that cannot be seen. She used to call them every bad word that I can think of. Now, among the information released by the DA today, written statements from first responders to that incident on Valentine's Day last year. The Maraonas have both pleaded not guilty to first degree murder and child abuse charges. Trial dates have yet to be set. In the newsroom, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.